For Hispanic Heritage Month, we want to bring you a special story about a local couple who is hustling and capturing the hearts of the Egan community. Christian De Leon and his wife Karen both lost their service industry jobs during the pandemic, and it made Christian realize he wanted to go out on his own, build something for his family, and spend more time with his kids. And that is how El Sazon was born. If you were filling up here at this Egan gas station off Diffleet Road, you'd never suspect we noticed we don't have a sign. You could fill up on this, what, what is this? here at El Sazon, the sneaky little kitchen counter tucked away inside. Good morning, we're coming in. Owner and chef Christian <laughs> De Leon has learned and led at some of the hottest Twin Cities restaurants, Pastor. but his flair for food didn't come naturally. I used to hate doing this cooking. There was a lot of learning. I like to read a lot. And a lot of hustle. And eventually, it turned into a passion. I now born with this. I just, in life, make me do it. But now, it's like, I cannot see myself doing something different. I do it because I love it. His wife, Karen, who now works with him, was skeptical of the new venture. I'm like, I did say, I'm like, who's going to want to eat at a gas station? Like, <laughs> no, I, I said I want to do it. But the community yeah, stepped up. Today I got the pizza, but uh, the carne asada tacos are really good. And lined up for the tacos, concha French toast, salsa trios, and... This is what people come here for? Yes. Okay. Yes, yes. There's a taquito birria ramen on the menu, too, inspired by meals Christian's mom cooked him as a kid in Guatemala. Hey, the ramen is in my country. I remember when mom used to have, we don't have a lot of money to eat. And this maruchan was that's a cheap version to do it. Social media, word of mouth, and next thing you know, everyone from landscapers to doctors were lining up to grab lunch. What's it like to have something like this in your neighborhood? Dangerous. But then you also are doing like, Five course meals. So five course meals in the gas, the gas I tell her, I'm like, she's, yeah, are you sure? I'm like, <laughs> I was like, are you sure? <laughs> I'm like, and she's like, okay, whatever, you know, like, let's do it. In 24 hours, we sold out. Six months in, the town is talking. Have you been Office there? Zone, Have you yeah. been there? Have you been there? It is a hidden gem. Time to eat. Take one bite. Okay, so you dip this in mm -hmm. this. Did you hear that? <laughs> and you'll understand why. I need a bib. I think we just grow in one month to another for like 100%. And it's something Five different. Correct. <laughs> it's something different. What's the goal? What's the dream? What's but next? Next, we want to grow. But even if there is a sit-down storefront, this speakeasy of sorts is here to stay. But I want to keep this one because that's how everything is start. Yeah, I think you're the coolest thing to ever happen to this gas station. <laughs> They really are. And did you guys catch that? They do five wow. course sit down meals like in the aisles in wow. the gas station, like grocery store mart thing. Um, they also have a burger pop up in the parking lot this weekend. You can find all their details um, on their social media, which I'll share too. I feel like that's a spot. You and I, just regular oh. guys, would be getting <laughs> gas. Like, oh, I'll try something here. Next thing you know, yeah. Always getting gas. There. Two hours later, too, <laughs> yeah. we're still eating the five course meal. What, what were some of your favorite things that just. So, the one thing that he said the first time customers have to try is the quesabirias. Okay. So, it's like a quesadilla with a, with a birria meat, which is like shredded. It's shredded. Of sort, it's yeah. one of their staples. It's in the ramen. And they use the broth from that. So, he has a lot of like really strong staples. Um, everything that we tried was so good. I. If you don't live anywhere near it, it is worth the drive. That's what I'm telling you. Go. That, that gas station, one of the smartest gas stations. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Who doesn't love a good road trip, right? Yeah. Let's do it.